All eyes on education around here. You told us in our recent survey, it's the top issue as we approach the elections. In a TH311 update tonight, Carter Threat follows up uh, as the Board of Education approved the boundary lines for the state's standardized testing system. Carter, what can parents and kids expect? Well, Rolly, this new system is pretty simple. Students are going to be placed in one of four levels based on their performance, and that'll affect the kind of instruction that each one gets. And Secretary of Education Jacob Oliva told me the simplicity is the point, and he thinks this new system is going to have a big impact. Today, we're first in goal, and when we set these cut scores and, and, and we start being able to release these tools, we're going to be able to spike the ball in the end zone. That's how Secretary Oliva describes this moment Thursday morning. With that, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes. The State Board of Education officially approving new cut scores for the ATLAS tests, which became Arkansas' standardized test of choice last spring. The scores that will place students into one of four levels were determined with input from more than 200 educators. One of those elaborated on the process in a video played before the board on Thursday. We had conversation and we collaborated and we were like, why was your score this and why was your score that? Everyone felt confident in their process because we were able to collaborate, but we also had the last say so. Those conversations led to these numbers. Deputy Commissioner Stacy Smith told the board Thursday what each score would mean for a potential student. Levels three and four are students who have been, are proficient. Students in level two may need some support. Okay, students in level one will need some support. Oliva says the new standards will be tough at first. Based on last year's results, over 65% of students would have been at levels one or two in math. But he says the standard should be tough because that's how kids will learn. This is going to be real-time information for our educators to see how their students are performing and they'll know how to make the instructional pivots to support them in the school year. And Oliva says now that these new cut scores are approved, data on individual school and student performances should be rolled out to school districts by the end of this month.